Hello ladies, um, today I'm going to show you guys how you can resize your photos to a one inch square so that they fit nicely inside of our new photo saver charm um, that's part of the prep line. So um, I've been getting a lot of questions so I know other leaders are too and so I hope this video um, will help you guys. Um, you do have to do this from a computer. I haven't found an option yet that you can do it from a phone. But a lot of times if you're going to print from your phone, that's like kind of crazy in itself anyway. So the best option would be um, to print the photos from your computer anyway. So I don't think there's going to be an issue there. Um, if a lot of y'all don't have a computer then I can go elsewhere and try to find other options for printing from your phone but most time if you have a printer you got a computer so let's go okay so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go um, on the internet and you're gonna go to pickmonkey.com we've all used this forever I think Tanya is the one that introduced us to this um, to crop photos and um, so most of the time I use Photoshop, but I understand that not everyone has Photoshop and it's like learning Greek. So um, this is a perfect option. It is free um, and you're going to be able to do everything that you need to do free without, you know, purchasing a plan or anything like that. So when you open it up, open it up you're going to be here. This is the home page. You're going to go and hover over the little design icon and you're going to go to custom size now this defaults to 2000 pixels but for a one inch square you want it to be 300 pixels by 300 pixels of course to make it a square um, so keep that in mind if you do have another program that you use that's similar to this um, 300 pixels is always going to print as a one inch square so then you're going to click on make it and you get to look at this cute little monkey while it's loading. I'll skip that. Okay. So then you have this um, one inch square blank canvas. You're going to leave that alone unless you need to like make a background color to kind of blend in or give yourself some more um, room on the canvas to make your picture print better like if it's you know really close to the edges like if it's already a square and it's really close to the edges and like maybe the background is red then you may want to try to find you know a close red or make a border so that you're not cutting off any of your image <laughs> when you go to put it inside of your charm mm -hmm. yeah. um so i'm just gonna leave mine white and then you're gonna go to this butterfly icon that says new overlays you're going to add your own from my computer and we're going to use this picture of shannon just because it's okay we'll use we'll use this picture of hillary and her family i'm not real sure why i have that on my computer don't think i'm weird but i'm sure i had <laughs> i'm sure i did something with it um, okay, so then you are going to have this layer selected. It's already going to be selected, and you're going to go up to the basic edits um, icon in the left-hand toolbar. You're going to click on that and crop. Then again, you're going to change this to 300 by 300, mm -hmm. and you want to click scale photo. If not, um, when you go to resize, your um, little crop tool then it may lose the proportions and it may get like more of a rectangle so you don't want to do that then just um, use the adjustments to make it you know as cropped in as you want um, we don't want to be cropping the girls out so we'll take this as wide as it will go without losing any of our border this is kind of where um, I was talking about if you know you need a little extra border because if we zoom all the way in on this and crop it just like that then I'm afraid maybe not in this picture but say where their boots are if you had something important there um, when it goes kind of in that frame it may cut that off 
so you may want to add a little background color for you know cases like that all right then you're going to go to export then you're going to double check your dimensions make sure that that's 300 pixels still and you're going to export to computer and you can name it whatever you want we'll name this charm demo save and then it pulls right up normally if you have a mac hmm. i think so you're done there then you can go into your finder here it is i'm going to open that then i'm going to go to print and you can see it's going to print a tiny one by one square so I'm going to go ahead and print that and then I'll show you guys the finished product in just a few. Bye guys. Alright, so I've got my photo printed and I do want to say that I did have to go back and make some adjustments because 300 pixels was a little bit too large. Um, like if, since this is one inch by one inch, the photo to go inside needs to be a tad bit smaller so that it's not curling up and it lays in there nice and flat. Um, so I'll update the video and make little notes, but you wanna take everything to 250 pixels. So that's the size. Um, and then it's gonna fit perfectly. I'll put the little, makes it the perfect size, you guys can see. Then it's the same size as the plastic cover, so it's going to fit in there perfect. So, 250 chalk, 300. Um, so, you'll just cut this out. And sorry, I don't have Hillary's family again. I'm at my downstairs computer, so I just used what I had. And after you get it cut out, you can take your little plastic cover and see if you need to make any adjustments. Just like if you were trimming a photo to put inside of a locket you know you kind of got to get it just right so that it fits in there can you guys see that good but it fits in there good um, and initially i thought that using cardstock would be the best alternative but i think regular paper is just fine um so i wouldn't go out and buy cardstock just for this if you don't have any i mean that's that's fine with just normal copy paper. So there you go. Hope that helps. Bye guys.